So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. Well, hope you find some shine. I'll leave uh... you to it. The Bodicea speculation series on this channel is surprisingly popular and remains surprisingly relevant. I get comments every day on my Bodicea videos. Everyone seems to have an opinion or a story, a tale to tell, and it's a tribute to the greatness of this game that a single line can elicit so much thought and analysis. And as always, I am happy to contribute because I love Bodicea, both as the historical figure and as the name of Arthur's first horse. If you are new to this channel, greetings! I'm your friendly neighbor Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Ooh, this is the one, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go, Ooh, yeah, here we go. The idea for a sooty buckskin Dutch warmblood came from a comment by Neodreth, who wrote, There is a sooty buckskin Dutch warmblood horse that has one more bar in speed and health than the one you can buy in these stables. The owner of this horse is a prospector searching for gold near Strawberry. Once you find it, steal it, take it to a stable, rename it as Bodicea, and listen to what the stable owner will comment about it. I won't spoil it for you, but you will know for a fact that Bodicea was indeed a Dutch warmblood. Careful there! That comment was intriguing enough for me to respond, which I rarely do these days, and I apologize for that. I do read every comment, and in the early days I took pride in answering every comment, if only to say thank you for watching, friend. I do appreciate your comments, they are great for the algorithm, and the only indication other than view counts that people are watching the videos. However, I am an all or nothing type of gentleman, and for me I either have to respond to every comment or no comments. There are no in-betweens for me. There is no compromise. At any rate, the Dutch Warmblood is a fine horse for Arthur. I do like the size and strength. A little slow, but that's okay. They are great horses and come in three coats. The Chocolate Roan, available at the Valentine's Stable from Chapter 2 on. It's okay, girl. The Seal Brown from the Strawberry Stable from Chapter 3 onwards. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Also the exceedingly rare Cremello Gold Dutch Warmblood, available in Chapter 6. Welcome. Looks like a friend here had a few too many sugar cubes. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. However, this video will focus on the Sooty Brown Dutch Warmblood, also available in Chapter 2 from the Scarlet Meadow Stable. I'm happy to stable that for you. A few careful trims and this horse will look just fine. And also available for free, if you're willing to negotiate. And by negotiate, I mean steal. Easy. <laughs> this prospector, by coincidence, has a sooty brown buckskin Dutch warm blood. Business is good, considering this is a pretty high-end horse in Chapter 2. Well done, sir. Hey, 
I wouldn't waste your time painting this stretch. This here's all shit <laughs> and no shine. The prospector can be found consistently in three locations. There, girl. I always check here first, outside of Hanging Dog Ranch. Yep. You can usually find him by streams and rivers. However, no joy today. And the map, Little Creek River. Check here first. Watch out for wolves and the occasional cougar. Also, the occasional O'Driscolls. The second location you should look is the Dakota River. You can find the prospector around the banks, close to Valentine and Horseshoe Overlook. However, again, not today. Let's try Mosey Flats. Easy, easy. <laughs> there he is. And there is your new horse. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Routine horse inspection. Hey, I wouldn't waste your time painting this stretch. This here's all shit <laughs> and no shine. This is the one. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Woo, yeah. Here we go. Careful there. Well, hope you find some shine. I'll leave uh, you to it. You will lose a little honor and the prospector will be more than a little upset. Oh well. It's alright, girl. And the map. We were on the Kamasa River, on the edge of Murphy Brood Country, just outside of Fort Brennan where you can find the greatest hat in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's get this girl to the stables. I always try to include this little cutscene of the horse going into these stables in my horse videos, 
just so you know that the horse is safe. Welcome to you and your horse. You've got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. At level 4, the Sooty Buckskin Dutch Warmblood comes in at a respectable 8 stamina and 7 health. Surprisingly swift, though with a slow acceleration. Yeah, we can get that. Won't take long either. No harm in Gussie and your horse up. However, the purpose of this video was to name this horse Bodicea and see what the staple owner has to say. So let's do that. Oh, that's a good match. A good match. Let's hear that again. Oh, that's a good match. Well, it's interesting. A little vague. Much like a horoscope, that response can apply to many scenarios. I would say it's inconclusive, one way or another. Personally, I have never considered the Sooty Buckskin as a Bodicea candidate, simply because I always assumed we were looking for a red horse. Arthur named his horse after the Celtic warrior queen that he probably heard of from Hosea, back when Hosea was teaching him to read. And Bodicea had red hair, that's the first thing you learn about her. I think even the Romans mentioned it in their historical records. Boudica, to quote Wikipedia, or Boudica, known in the Latin chronicles as Bodicea or Boudicea, and in Welsh as Biseg, who led a failed uprising against the conquering forces of the Roman Empire in AD 60 or 61. According to Roman sources, shortly after the uprising failed, she poisoned herself or died of her wounds, although there is no actual evidence of either fate. She is considered a British national heroine and a symbol of the struggle for justice and independence. In 6061, Boudicca led the Iceni tribe and other British tribes in revolt. They destroyed Camulodunum, modern Colchester, earlier the capital of the Trinovantes, but at the time a colonia for discharged Roman soldiers. Upon hearing of the revolt, the Roman governor Gaius Sutanus Paulinus hurried from the island of Mona, modern Anglesey, to Londinium, the 20-year-old commercial settlement that was the rebels' next target. Unable to defend the settlement, he evacuated and abandoned it. Boudicca's army defeated a detachment of the Legio Novum Hispana, and burnt both Londinium and Verulamium. In all, an estimated 70 to 80,000 Romans and Britons were killed by Boudicca's followers. Sutanius, meanwhile, regrouped his forces, possibly in the West Midlands, and despite being heavily outnumbered, he decisively defeated the Britons. The crisis of 6061 caused Nero to consider withdrawing all his imperial forces from Britain. But Sutanius's victory over Boudicca confirmed Roman control of the province. Interest in these events was revived in the English Renaissance and led to Boudicca's fame in the Victorian era and as a cultural symbol in Britain. There's also a sooty buckskin parked outside the Valentine stable. At times... Damn. Valentine. Hey there, Val! Can you help me? The horse belongs to this inebriated individual. Tales where I'm Getting at. quick, folks, before I eat all these jobs for myself. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Help or hinder, it makes no difference to the horse, which you will find over here. Another free horse, though it seems rude to steal this one. He's going to be in enough trouble with the wife when he gets home. However, the horse is here if you are so inclined. At any rate, the size is right for me, but the color is off. I am convinced Arthur was inspired by the red coat to name his horse Bodicea. 
We need to be looking for a red horse. The, remember, the name of this game is Red Dead Redemption 2, not City Buckskin Dead Redemption 2. Many thanks to Neodreth for their intriguing comment, and to all of you for all of your comments. I doubt if we will ever truly know who Bodicea was. However, it's always enjoyable to speculate. Arthur and the sooty buckskin Dutch warmblood, who I personally believe is not Bodicea, will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail in the Instagram. Link in the description, along with links to the merch store, my second channel, and our Discord. Also, consider supporting the channel with a membership. Click the join button for as little as $1.99 a month, 6 cents a day, to get your name or channel name in custom end credits. And help keep the lights on at Team Super Antonio HQ in San Denis. I'm always happy to stable that horse. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Well done, girl. Hey there! What the heck's the matter with you? Get your horses ready! We have a train to rob!